Aim listed Seed Innovations is up a whopping 20% today. It's a company which gives shareholders exposure to early stage health, wellness and medical cannabis businesses. It has de today declared a, a maiden dividend, uh, which is the significant driver of its share price today. We'll get more on shares in just a minute. I want to catch up with the chief executive, Ed McDermott, though. First of all, Ed, welcome uh, and congratulations. Maiden dividend is always a, a moment to, to savour. Uh, what's enabled this? Thank you very much for having me on. So the key driver for this is a sale that we actually announced a year ago of one of our assets, which was in a bit of an outlier space for us in the gaming space. Uh, and the company was called Leap Gaming. Uh, we received half of the proceeds of the sale a year ago, and the balance was received uh, just a few days ago. And that is what has prompted and I suppose was always planned to be part of a special dividend to shareholders. And what's the source of the dividend? Is it just um, cash sitting on the balance sheet? Well, we were already in a very strong cash position as it was. So this is, I wouldn't say excess cash necessarily, but it's certainly cash that we wanted to uh, reward our shareholders with. We think that we're offering a bit of a safe haven in what is obviously a very tricky market still. Uh, we were cash backed pre this uh, money coming in. So it made sense to pay that out as a dividend. And we remain essentially cash backed against our market cap with no value whatsoever given to some of the larger portfolio assets that we have, such as Juvenescence, Clean Food Group, Avextra, which, you know, again, total well over five million pounds on a conservative net asset value basis. Yeah, I want to catch up with more on that in just a minute. Uh, just very briefly, talk to a little bit more about the way in which you're constructing this company, because you said you've got a number of investments. Uh, just give us some more detail about uh, your longer term strategy? Well, I think if we go back to the beginning, uh, as, a, as a starting point, Seed was always designed for investors of all shapes and sizes to be able to access best in class assets with entrepreneurs in high growth spaces. We're backing what we believe are best in class entrepreneurs and best in class assets. Obviously, we're in the venture business, so uh, not every asset is going to be successful. But when we do have successful outcomes, uh, they can be very successful indeed. And we've proven that, particularly in the medical cannabis space, uh, with assets like Nuvera, Emac, Avextra more recently. And these were all companies that we've sold at different points within that market, you know, some in the bullish days, some in the absolute worst days, and some in the in-between. Uh, and going forward, we're not obviously linked just to that we're obviously very invested in uh, life sciences biotech uh, and we want to continue on those themes because we believe that this market offers exceptional value we haven't rushed to invest that capital perhaps historically seed in its former guises as fast forward had rushed some of its uh, i suppose windfalls uh, and made big mistakes off the back of that we believe we're in a deep value in, uh, market right now where very good assets are struggling along with not so good assets. And it's simply about making sure that you have the patience and doing the hardcore due diligence on these assets to make sure that you're making good investments, which will ultimately reward shareholders handsomely in the next year or two. Yeah, let's, let's just take a look at the share price chart, because I think this illustrates exactly what you've been talking about, the fact that the, the market uh, uh, is, is beating up. And I mean, look, you're an AIM company. AIM has been hit disproportionately. We know this. Uh, and uh, a lot of good companies have been taken down with uh, the bad ones. But I think actually look at this chart here. This only goes back to the beginning of 2022. In fact, you've got even higher highs, I think, if you go back further than this. Uh, but you can quite clearly see this rise on the right hand side of the chart here with an appreciation of what you've been delivering today. Um, just explain more about this NAV to share price. So you, you spoke a little bit about the companies you were talking about there with, with values that just aren't included. I think the market capitalization of the company is just over five million pounds today. Um, and that's in its entirety. Uh, so explain more about this disproportion uh, between the uh, net asset value and the share price. I think it's it, to some degree when the markets are somewhat bullish, you see uh, fund or investment company type structures like ourselves that have portfolios of assets rather than are acting as an operator uh, trading at significant premiums to NAV. Typically in a very difficult market, um, these kind of companies often trade at a big discount. Sometimes it can be anything up to 90%. So it, it's 
not entirely surprising to see uh, a discount to NAV. However, we believe the discount to NAV is significantly disproportionate given the fact that we are essentially cash backed. Uh, I previously mentioned uh, Clean Food Group, Juvenescence, Avextra. These are all companies that are relatively sizable businesses uh, at this point in time, i.e. they have market caps bigger than most companies on uh, on AIM. Uh, they're all privately held companies. And I think it's also fair to say that privately held companies have found it very, very difficult to raise capital. Thankfully, in those particular positions, they've all managed to raise uh, significant capital at premiums to certainly where uh, it, almost in all cases where seed has invested. Uh, and that is very encouraging for us. That That is what I talk about when I mention best in class management. These are uh, companies and management teams that are able to attract significant amounts of capital at uh you know, premium valuations in what is a very, very difficult market. I think when you look at that against the backdrop of AIM, um, you know, that's all we can we can hope for at this point. But certainly we at, the, we at Seed, the team at Seed, feel very bullish about what's uh, uh, going to unfold in our belief over the next sort of six uh, to 18 months. Yeah, of course, it's just a question of riding out uh, the bottom, isn't it? So, look, just want to quickly update as well on what's happening in terms of some of the uh, balanced uh, sheet headlines. I think indeed post-payment, you're saying this morning on the release, you've got an excess of £4 million in cash on the balance sheet, even after paying this dividend. What do you um, what do you hope to do with this on the basis that you've got opportunities in the market from a position of relative strength uh, to enter other areas? What What are your plans of this cash? Uh, obviously, I can't telegraph very specifically what we are planning to do with the capital, but we've been looking at a huge number of opportunities uh, over the last 12 months, really. And uh, we're seeing some very, very interesting stuff that we're getting, I, I would say, somewhat close. Again, I can't telegraph anything uh, too obviously, but um, ultimately what we hope to be able to do is is announce some uh, potentially very high growth uh, investment opportunities in the very near future. Yeah. Just just one final uh, comment, if we can, from you, uh, from the position as you are the CEO of a, of a company that's, that's making moves. What do you think about the market at the moment, uh, where you are, this wellness, health, cannabis uh, area of the market? It, it came to the market uh, those years ago. We first met at that uh, event, I think, that sort of launched a lot of companies uh, in London. And uh, this seems to have come off the boil a little bit. What's your thought about where the business is as it matures? Uh, I think, obviously, I think you're referring specifically to the sort of cannabis side of things. Obviously, what we had in the early days of cannabis was a massive push with regulatory change happening at, at almost light speed, faster than companies could keep up in, in many cases. And then you almost hit a brick wall where that regulatory uh, progress stopped very quickly. Typically, everyone is looking to the US because that's the most developed cannabis market uh, globally, uh, the US and Canada. And, uh, you know, there's been a lot of struggles there because although regulatory reform has started to happen at a federal level, particularly in the US, that hasn't happened yet. And I think that's what has been slowing uh, a, a lot of these companies and the trajectory down. Obviously, you mix that against uh, the backdrop of a very, very difficult market for raising capital in any sector. Uh, you know, right now, it, it, it there's very few outliers that are raising serious capital at uh, big premiums. And I think that's, you know, we just it, it's well documented that the markets, particularly the junior markets, are having a very, very torrid time. Indeed, uh, you know, you have asset deflation against high interest rates. Of, of course, if you're somebody with, you know, enormous amounts of wealth, you're going to take the safe option, uh, which is your sort of bonds and gilts uh, to ride that that storm out. I think what we are starting to see in general is some green shoots and we're certainly starting to see a little bit more liquidity coming into some of these stocks. For us, though, the, the key thing is not all companies are created equally. It is very much about the management and the opportunity. And it's for us, it's very much about making sure that we find that right combination and, and we back the winning horses. It is difficult enough as it is, but uh, we've certainly proved historically that we're capable of doing that. And uh, I believe that we're going to have very happy investors uh, in the not too distant future when we prove that thesis once again. 
Yeah, we'll look, we'll, we'll look forward to catching up with you again at some point, Ed, to, uh, to talk about uh, those green shoots and how they develop and the uh, benefits for seed innovation. But in the meantime, thanks indeed for joining us. It's a pleasure. Thank you very much for having me. All the best. That's that's Ed McDermott. He's the chief executive of Seed Innovations, uh, which is up 20% today after announcing its maiden dividend.